Okay, this side's down, that side's down. All right. So today we are testing out a really ridiculous audio setup that I'm probably not going to use the entire time. But we'll see. Let's get going. We'll see how we do. I don't love that. Ugh. That's all right. It is what it is. It's not my favorite mount, so here we go. So today, we are testing out a brand new mic setup. We've got two cameras. The GoPro does not work anymore, as far as I can tell for external mics. It just records video, which, you know, has its ups and downs, right? But I wanted to, uh, so the last video where I did the pure sound one, all of the audio was recorded from this up on the handlebars, which I thought was absolutely nuts. Um, I cannot believe the amount of wind noise it cut out. And we got a little kid on the bike. Uh, and I, I just, I'm blown away by how it did. And what I used to do is I used to have the old, ah, fuck, I'm not going to go that way. I don't want to deal with that guy. Uh, I used to have an Aspen mic, like a version one Aspen mic as a brand name, run up into my helmet. And then a, uh, it ran into the gigantic dongle that you have to have to record on the GoPro. And I just did it all in-house because it was so much easier than fiddling and farting around. And then I got my Lark H1 wireless system and I was like, hey, that'd be kind of cool, but I couldn't get the GoPro to work with it. Even though I like chose the powered mic option, it was on the lowest volume setting, it was always too much. And I don't know, it was just over modulated and it was just too much going on. So I just was like, well, fuck it. I don't know what to do. I guess I'll just stick with this. Well, no when it died recently and I couldn't record anything, uh, I had to switch. So I got what is, I don't remember the actual model number. You'll also forgive me. I have a blister from doing a ton of yard work and landscaping work this weekend. And uh, this hand does not feel great in these hot gloves sweating. But I, I don't know what it is, but it's a Sony and it's like a stereo microphone and it came with a little foam wind muff. We'll see how well it works. It might work really well, I don't know. And then I've also got, and that's running into my pocket, excuse me. So I have that now running into my pocket onto my Zoom H1 re recorder. And then I also have a Zoom H5, which I use for bigger productions and I've just used, uh, hilariously, okay, I say used, I have used one time uh, for a, uh, a production I was hired for to go over into Spain and shoot and I needed a multiple mic setup situation and I needed it to have XLR inputs on it. And uh, it is currently in one of the saddlebags with a wind muff, a dead cat, a dead squirrel. Go on, big guy. They're waiting on you. <laughs> Good Lord with a dead cat, dead squirrel, whatever you want to call it. It's the thing that looks like a big fuzzy dead animal. 
on it in the pocket in there set real low to hopefully record the audio because what I'm trying to do is get a little more production with this what in the flying hell what the fuck is that thing uh ooh, it's an hallway good lord I have not been down this street in a while they have changed a little bit of it I know where I am. I'm one over. Whoopsie. But we'll go down and we'll just kind of flip around here. I took one one turn to uh, too soon. That's all right. That's all right. We'll just kind of go through suburbia here while we talk. But uh, yeah. And so I'm trying to get a little bit better recording on the, uh, excuse me, big guy in my bath, on the old audio here, because, I'm going to be honest with you, I have not been thrilled with the other microphone just going forward. And with this, with the X3, it looks super cool. And I'm, I'm learning to film with it. I'm, I'm learning a lot of different things. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, I know where we are. We can go this way and get out and get where we wanted to go in the first place. But yeah, it's going to be a short little ride because also before this, which you won't see on here, but literally right as I got on my bike, I got a call or a, a text from one of my clients saying that the home that I have been asking to get in early for and was told that I couldn't and that it wouldn't be ready by a certain time is ready early. So I'm probably going to head up there, and this is just going to be a quick little test. But I did want to get out. Oh my gosh, loose gravel. I did want to get out and just give it a little bit of a ride and see what we got. I also found, fun story, I also found, see it moves. That's my only thing about this camera. Well, it's the mount. It's not the camera. To be fair, it's the mount. The mount sucks. Uh, I will be getting a different one. But, I found out that there's a vent in the back of my jacket I didn't know about. And I've had it closed this whole time. And my God, I can, I feel so much air flowing through this thing. I got two on the sides and then a big one in the back. And they just flows over you and up your back and up your shirt and it's great. Oh my Lord. It's the best feeling. Oh man, I was gonna, hoping we were going to get here before this happened, but... We were not so lucky. That's all right. We'll just hang out. We're just gonna go up the country road here and figure it out. But yeah, I'm trying to get a little bit better of a mic set up, do a little more production, because the camera is just awesome. And I want to capture some more of the sound. I don't really feel like jumping out in front of these people. Sometimes their blinkers are not correct. But yeah, sometimes their blinkers aren't correct, so I don't want to do that. But if I can get some better sound, like just some more real good sound, we'll do some more cool rides as we go up through the mountains and really utilize this, this camera. I also want to get... Uh, the mount where I can kind of put it and move it around, put it on the, you know, more in the handlebars, down on one of the bar, down lower on the back. Just something, you know, to give a little bit of variety. And do it that way. Oh, here we go, perfect timing. I've always wanted to ride up this road on the bike. I never have. I know where it goes though. It's just kind of like a wide open, you know? Oh. And we're supposed to get some nasty thunderstorms this afternoon. So 
so we'll see, but I think I'm going to go up and do my shoot here for my client. Probably get up there about, oh, I don't know, 2 o'clock and get done. I think we're going to be okay. The storms are going to stay a little bit south, or uh, yeah, south, excuse me, as if I look. Eh, maybe. I don't know. We'll get there do the drone. It's all good. But I'd like to get it out of the way just because I think that it's going to be a better idea. I'm going to turn here. We'll go up. And then we'll kind of just make a big square and come back down. The only thing I don't like about these country roads is all the damn gravel and sand that's on it. I'm not the most confident rider on that stuff. I never have been... I've only, I've only had one bike kind of like, you know, kind of kick out on me as I came around. I just hate that feeling, man. I hate the feeling of a bike coming out from underneath you. But yeah, this... I've been pretty impressed with this. I think the funny part about this X3 is they've got all these wild mounts for it. And there's like people who wear them on their like helmet sideways and I'm just like, well, the last thing that we really wanted was a GoPro that, you know, was larger. Uh, that's, you know, not what we want. But I do have to say the difference between using the GoPro and using the, ouch, oh, fucking, I hit a bug, ouch, hit my shin. Uh, damn, that hurt. Uh, the difference is the software for this and how this works, just, just light years better. Light years better. And I just, I, I cannot say enough good things about how easy it is to use. The plugin for Premiere Pro is just, it works perfectly. I have zero complaints about this thing. The mount has not come with it. I just got it, and it was actually for the GoPro. It was never intended to be for this, uh, because as I was talking about in the video that has no audio, when I found out that my, uh, you know, GoPro doesn't record audio anymore. Uh, I bought this because I am a real estate photographer and an architect, or an uh, architect, architecture photographer. And uh, when I got it, I got it to do Matterports, and Matterports are terrible. Nobody likes Matterport. And uh, rather than paying $5,000 for one of their pro cameras, I bought this X3. Oh yeah. 70 mile an hour, six gear. Oh, this bike. It's just so nice. I love 70 mile an hour, or just the six gear, not really 70 mile an hour, but just it's effortless. You don't feel like it it, it struggles at all. And like, I know my, my uh, 765 Street Triple, I, I mean, it, it, <laughs> it shot past 70 mile an hour in first gear. I feel like that thing was terrifyingly fast. And that's not even a big bike. But this guy, it just, it's so confident, so poised at any speed. It's just great. Uh, but yeah, it was a Matterport camera originally for work and I just, I have never used it because of my, I don't know, 40, 50 clients I have that I work for, none of them care about Matterport. And Matterport is so expensive to host and to, to subscribe to and just, be a part of that it's just prohibitive and listen I, I'm, I get it maybe it's the, the I, I, it's a tech company that you know they've got their money they got to make and whatever but it's not for me if I have to I'll use it but largely I just kind of stick to where I'm at and then what, what works and what makes me money so we're gonna be using it more and it will come with us because the fun part is I can plug it into the USB port over here and it'll charge itself and it's got a 512 gig card in it. So it'll record for like six and a half hours if I wanted it to. I hope not because that's too much footage, but I could. And then I have another USB port that I have behind me that I put in 
then I can run a cord up my, my uh, jacket and plug into the side of the GoPro. Then I can power both cameras and the microphones will record for forever because they're on battery and they don't use that much battery. And we're good. And so for me, it's like a lot more work. I really hate... Uh, I really hate the extra work that comes with it because like you got to sync audio from three different devices, four different devices and just, ugh. but that being said, it's not terrible. And if it's a better production at the end of the day for all of you guys, that is what I would like to do more of. So we will just keep going that way and do a better production. Because that's what it's all about, really. I know I said a quick little loop, but, well, it is pretty quick. It's not terrible, but it's humid here today. Like, you can't even see the mountains. It's like muggy for Colorado, and I know it's not muggy for, like, the south of the coast. But, like, for here, it's muggy. You just feel it. It sticks to you. You can smell it. It's always so dry up here, but it's not today, so we're going to get a lot of moisture coming out of the air soon. That's what everybody's saying. All the plants are coming up. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I guess the nice part about this is, is technically I have all the audio, so my brain's like going thinking and being like, okay, maybe I should be quiet for like 30 seconds so I could use a clip for, you know, TikTok or re uh, God, I hate how everybody has a different fucking name. Shorts or whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever. But you know, vertical. But I have the audio from every device all separated out on its own track. So I don't have to worry about that. It's going to be real funny when I get home and it just all sounds like shit and none of it's usable. Oh man, this going to kill me. That's the way it goes. That's why we test. That's why we test. killed a lot of these things just like little squares of nothing I wonder what did that hmm. this this stop is like one of the worst things that you can be at at like rush hour at like five o'clock eh, I don't really feel like jumping in front of this guy about this motorcycle is like because of the handlebars and the seating position you gotta hang on and it was even worse with the long controls those forward controls that were on this thing like it was like <laughs> it was like sitting in a lazy boy with your legs all flat out and going 80 miles an hour it was terrifying and it wasn't comfortable. I mean, I don't know. I'm like I said, I'm 6'3, and I, I did not think it was comfortable. So I don't know how it was comfortable for maybe a bigger dude who's a lot heavier than me, over 200 pounds, but I'm getting there, and I don't know. I like where it's at now. Anyway, I think we'll probably end it as we come around this corner just because that's going to be about it for me. We're almost headed back. And look at all the gravel. God, I hate this stuff. Dude, just bleh. Ever since I had that little washout, skipped the back tire a little bit when I came around the corner a little too much. I just, ugh. 
but yeah this is just like I said quick little test ride show off the new mic see how it sounds it may not even post I don't know but it's so funny because I think that like I'll do something that I'm like oh man I saw a cool moto vlog or something like a guy riding his Indian scout with a just recorded the audio of it and drive it in 4k with a really nice color grade and I'll do that and it'll get like 70 views and then I will go and just record me ranting about something that pissed me off on TikTok for a, like 27 minutes and post that and I'm like man I must like I, I, this has just got to be the most boring shit to watch and it just gets like 3,000 views in like two days I'm like, what is gold I don't know what it is about people god dude all I see is bug guts across my <laughs> across my visor right now but I don't know like it's funny because I know I said I was gonna end it but like it's funny because that's what I used to love about motor vlogging is that just like people rant and I know that like there's a lot of people who don't like oh yeah, people love to hear themselves talk like dude I don't love to hear myself talk in fact it's the opposite like it took me forever to get comfortable enough to talk on camera and like not try if that makes sense and just let it spill out but I just find it funny because it's like those things seem to do the best and then you see the comments and people will say sometimes like oh but he loves to hear himself talk blah 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 and but then it's like yeah but that's the silent that's the vocal minority the silent majority just seems to not give a shit and you know hit the like button and watch and I'm like well I'm not making content for the people that don't like me I appreciate the interaction but like we're good I don't know. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up here. Appreciate you guys riding along, checking it out. Hopefully this makes it. If it doesn't, well, you didn't hear this. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll see you all later. Thank you.